Right, so we're here with the Pitt family and we'll be doing a little bit of a chat about what happened today. Right then, folks, so you've you've had an interesting day today. We had the, uh, the children's linear adventure, uh, which we did a lot of footage for, and I'll have to plough through all of that because there was quite a few choice moments oh, yeah. as uh, young children were battering the hell out of adults and what have you. But from your experience then of what you actually sort of saw and, and, ex and went through today, uh, how did it go? Good. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I have got a few ups and I've got a few downs as well. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's go with the ups. Well, it was really good for the little children. And um, it also got him fighting because he's been bottling it up all hmm. the whole weekend. So he got to take his anger out on many of the adults. <laughs> this is like therapy, isn't yeah! it? Literally attacking all of them. There was one attacking me, and Charlie just went dum 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 dead. <laughs> Next was in dum dum dum. Half of them were the food traders, and the actual fight hadn't started. Which was a <laughs> so, setting. Yeah. so what happened really was um, me and Izzy approached the woman, and she was just standing there with like, okay, this is quite awkward. And then she she started to fight us. A f a f um, she was fighting Izzy, but then I just came up behind her and just whacked her. Just whacked her. Why, as a ref, Bang. you should be more clearly labelled. <laughs> <laughs> well, she had a sword out, and she wanted to fight us. So. No, that's good. So you said there's some ups and downs. Any downs? Uh, yes. Um, they went too. They went too easy on us, Charlie. <laughs> they went too easy on us. Okay. <laughs> but I think they had to do that because there's some children. What, sorry, Charlie? You like a bit of a challenge. You like a bit of a challenge. My downs were that it was literally 20 minutes long. It was um, just let's um, go to this place, home, and then we'll get home. Yeah. Um, and then we got home, and then we had to figure out pestles, kill them, get the horns. That was about 20 minutes. So if it was a bit longer and there was a bit more story to it, then I think that would have engaged the old ones, or even better, have a separate one for the little children. So that, that would have been perfect for the little children, but many of the older ones, like 11s, 12s, 13, 14, 15, 16s, etc., were like, okay. Shall I, the little children's shall I let you know how long it actually was? Yeah. It was just over an hour. Really? Yeah, <laughs> it really was. <laughs> an hour long, we were yeah. timing it, yeah. You were beating the bejesus out of people. For ages. Ages. <laughs> I knew because I lived it, and if I only had an hour to live, I'd live it then because it would be the longest hour I'd ever had. Stood around watching you quite comedically kick a guy completely in the conkers, and then he made the fatal error of actually raising his shield, and you went straight in like a ninja, walloped him again just right above there, and you could almost see the man going. <coughs> And then the, you know, kind of, I remember you with children, don't swear, don't swear. Take yourself to the best place, take yourself to that nice safe place where no one can hurt you. And you still managed to get him. It was brilliant, it was, it was genius. Easy. Yeah. It was easy. But um, yeah, if yeah. they could do a separate one for the elder ones, which is longer, Yeah. because in our opinion that was like 20 minutes long, but even though it's an hour, Yeah. Um, I think with the older ones, um, they actually have the thing because it was just the little ones, not the big ones. Do you think they were trying to deal with too much of an age range? Yeah, I think so they, they were, were trying to deal with the five year olds yeah. and right up to 13s. Yeah, so basically yeah. what they were doing, they were going for the five year olds and had this um, up. We were kind of like, okay, we've killed all the monsters, they've done all the puzzles, now what? Mm. And if it was um, more to do with um, the older ones, or the double digits, I'm going to say that, um, for another one, like another quest, I think, and the five-year-olds down, stuff like that, I think it would be a bit more, because we're in our same age group, so we understand a bit more, because the characters also, they were saying, like, they were going to the little ones going, now time, we have to go back to hope and get this, 
and they were only talking to little ones where we were like, we're used to really complicated language due to school. <laughs> so we're used to hect equals plus times 12 equals that. And they're like, 2 plus 2 equals 4. And we, we don't understand it because we're used to the complicated stuff. So really, really what I'm getting from this is there should be two perhaps separate distinct uh, encounters uh, one for an age range up to say nine yeah. or eight yeah mm. uh, and then from double digits onwards uh, something a little bit more complex and a little bit more challenging yeah. uh, for that age range teens, yeah. something a little harder a bit more involved yeah because they, they as Charlie said they were going a bit easy on us and well. we were just like Better. Yeah, they had to find. I, 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 could see what they were doing. They had to find the, the, the comfortable middle ground. Yeah. Then, because then at what point do they say, well, then, then the eight-year-olds go, well, that's too immature for me. Why don't you bunch the six to eight-year-olds together? And then, you know, and then it just breaks off into even smaller like groups. But yeah, uh, and I think there's an element of if you slaughter six to eight-year-olds in character, is there a need for therapy? I no. Don't enjoy it too much. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> what happened at the children's linear? They all got crushed horribly <laughs> and are dead. Um, so I think there has to be a win there. I mean, I've, I think where CP may be moving with this is just exploring mm. what is what yeah. is acceptable yeah. and what they can do, and you can you can see that. And there were some really good characters there. That like, yeah. I love yeah. the the Minotaur. I thought oh, he was he's awesome. Yeah. Bull. Yeah. Oh, he was just brilliant. And the chap, and the, the chap who was the the, the, the purple. purple. Yeah, and yeah, and he was, Pan yeah. was cool. At least, I, yeah. And was the lady. And was cool oh. as well. That was the lady. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, and and I just thought it, it, it was nice, and it was very well choreographed in that respect. There was a lot of thought that went into it. Yeah. Um. So I mean, I think the, the dampener for it, and probably why it probably lasted as long as it did, was because it did start to rain. The dampener, literally yeah, dampener. And, and it was yeah. the dampener because it became. It wasn't just a little bit of rain where you could hide underneath the trees and be okay. Yeah. We it was were starting a to talk about a deluge, and it just has continued all day. So from that point of view, you couldn't you couldn't go on too long with, yeah. with that because you would just have the other the other thing I would point out is that it was it was literally two days of pent up um, battle frustration. Mm. Um, Charlie got to unleash the last two days of not being able to kind of go in um, on whomever he saw in front of him. So he literally went in hammer and tongs, which was great to see because he finally got out of his system. However, maybe they could look at doing little bits over the few days if they can afford to do that and obviously it takes staff and resources and all the rest of it but maybe there could be little encounters that the kids could do <coughs> that everyone's aware of I mean we were aware yesterday that we had to go to the Senate to get a gift mm. maybe had there been a bit of an encounter or a little bit of element of danger there that would have kind of helped a little bit they could have mm. put a couple of you know, NPC in just have a bit of a fight with the kids to make it not easy to pick up their gift or you know, some kind of um, encounter as they left yeah, to show that the danger is imminent, it's always around. Perhaps a, distru a, a disruption, a disruption that, that the, the Senate couldn't deal with, but the only kid, the kids, kids could. could. Exactly, yeah. Well, that could have been easily slotted into that yesterday, yeah. which would then have helped kind of spread, spread the kind of activities rather than having it all today, you know, because now tomorrow what the kids going to do again. Um, they were granted the gift when they when they completed the puzzle of all the kids now have the ability to strike down. But A, because of the weather now this afternoon has been so appalling, nobody's, nobody's really done much at going out. But then to what effect could that be used now where the kids' account encounter is finished, apart from them striking down their parents? Yeah, <laughs> thanks for that CP. Yeah, really well thanks. thought through. You couldn't give them a puppy? I guess what? So now we now they have the ability to speak their mind and we can't tell them to shut up. No. We now get the chance to if we do tell them to shut up, we they get to strike down. down. Or we so, get blown you know, up. the kids don't get the opportunity to, to use, use it. that so you, you, practically. So you would you would like something that follows on from the linear yes. where absolutely, yeah. absolutely the gifts given are you can now are useful. useful. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. And they could be manipulated by the faction leaders in order to assist this this whole concept of going to the Senate was a really really good one and I think it started Absolutely. off really well but I think it's got to continue because otherwise they've got that hour that maybe hour and a half two hours but it's a long old day to be traipsing around 
Um, mm. And for okay. us, we've got to look after them and entertain them as well as trying to get in the role play ourselves. Mm. And of course, these two are not at the age where they can actually go into, from an insurance point of view, they can't go into minor fractions, uh, yeah. you know, larger ones or battles. So you know, yeah. that's influenced how and what we do as a family as well, because you know, otherwise I'll be out on my own because yeah, you can't yeah. leave the kids. All you've got to go. We always tag team it, don't we? I think in the battles when they're doing all, when they're doing fighting, we get like we have to find something. We have to find it and kill or something. So like, so see if yeah, we have to find like a weapon that can kill them. Yeah. So while they're all fighting them off, <clears throat> we could be looking around in the forest. Or like the children in that faction could be looking around in that area trying to find this one thing that they're looking for in the faction. And oh, does that mean then that if you don't find it, we can blame you for something? And, <laughs> and, and <laughs> there could be like a couple of fake ones, but now we I've got a power uh, where... Charlie, you need I to put that in context, mate, all right? Saying I'd like to f um, find a pair of fake ones, you need to put it in context because you're dealing with myself and Stuart now, and, and you know our, our listener no, is, like, is yeah, the yeah, listener like fake. Is that thinking fake. about boobs? <laughs> oh, you mean well, turtles? Well, we're thinking of it now, aren't we? <laughs> always, always. No, but they're thinking about turtles. Oh, he loves turtles. Now, now, like um. <laughs> I think we should restart. We've been told by manners by our children. Is it? Is it? I think she we should restart it. We've lost it now. We have to restart it. No. 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 This is really good. No. That's fine. But I think on the whole, I think I think what Charlie's trying to say is good because I think if you are going to, if you are going to get that kind of, it needs to be a little bit harder, and there's a chance you could get it wrong. And, yeah. and it really does have an impact. There's an element of danger. There, yeah, so you could have the final battle, and there is time. If you don't do it, then they don't get something, the faction doesn't get something, the side doesn't get something, which could really impact on the way the battle goes. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I think the kids then would have a massive, they would have responsibility, and I'm not too sure how they would take that. Yeah. I think they would, they would need also, to be. Also, I think that would you know, be a really good idea from the point of view that if the kids didn't get it and it was detrimental to the mm. actual plot, the leaders of the groups would then want to make it part of their um, itinerary to make sure that the kids get it next time. Because at the moment, you yeah. find that the people within, you know, the kids go off and do their thing, while the adults just stand back. Whereas now, you know, they're, and they're not part of their groups. They're all. It's just the kids' group. Whereas I think if, if, if for example, the leaders of the factions now think actually there's a real danger that we could lose out here. They'd want to be involved to make sure that the kids help to get the quest. Yeah, yeah. it'll draw them out as well. If it had an impact on on, on on the plot or outcome of Absolutely, something, yeah. they will now want to get involved. Because it's, it's yeah. important, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. It's, you know, it's yeah. detrimental to the but, actual whole plot. So here's another question coming off that. Then, would you feel that not having a generic kids quest, but actually having Faction focus kids yeah, quest, not, in, perhaps not individual factions, but making the factions a factor of the kids quest. Absolutely, that would be good, and that would also fill in time within the days as well, where mm -hmm. they're not just waiting for like the the, the Sunday mm -hmm. to kind of wait for their one lineage kind of thing. They could be happening throughout, and it would draw the kids closer into the the, the groups as well, you know, and get the kids known. Because um, we met, I mentioned that when we came here to the kids, that maybe it's a good idea to go in and, and speak to the factions yeah. about delivering messages and stuff to yeah. coin And it was almost like, yeah, you can do that, but oh yeah, you know, it's, it's just an extra thing for them to have to think about, I guess. But um, well, you know, it's just keeping the kids busy and occupied and giving them little things that they can do. I think that makes a huge difference. And I think anyone who's doing role play for families, I think that would be really something they can yeah. look at. Just giving them little tidbits. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to keep them occupied, just to give them something throughout the day to look forward to doing. Just scattering little bits here and there, Absolutely. and perhaps the big thing. And incorporated thing. it yeah. into the max, you know, the main She's part. She's done. She's on the roll. Okay. What did you going to say? Is <laughs> you were going to say something? Oh yeah. Why don't they do it like um, geocaching, like old-fashioned geocaching? Oh. So instead of doing that, the factions have to find this one thing. They write their names down in the box, and the last fa the last faction. Um, Gets like, like a treasure hunt. Yeah, it's like a treasure hunt basically. Okay. And they write their faction down and when they found it and what time they found it. And then the first uh, faction who found it get this one like really good prize that could literally demolish the battle. 
I'll tell you what I saw as well, because we've been with the Wolves section and, you know, kind of faction. And they do a really good battle thing, don't they? The Warhammer thing, where yeah. they get to um, it's, um, uh, it's, battle each other, don't they? It's, it's called Thor. Yeah. And um, Thor's hammer. And what they do is they, there's a ring of people and they... Um, stop it. And they get, like, knights with proper chain armour on and they get them to fight each other and who um so it's basically they split two and then put them in numbers and then they put them in the middle of the ring and then they fight each other. Oh right. So there's there's like rounds so they, yeah. they, they, they call yeah. they call out at two num two random numbers to eleven and then um, the people that their number, what their number is, they come out into the middle with their armour and a shield and um, a sword. Stuff. No, a hammer mm-hmm. and hammer, a yeah. sh- hammer and a shield. And whoever comes first get this, gets this massive hammer and it's called Thor's hammer. They get a belt as well, don't they? So it's yeah. like a, a competition, but I think they should do one. Because there was enough. Kids and yeah, it was yeah. going to be a very short competition because there was only about eight or nine kids that were there. Um, but I reckon that would be a really good thing. So they have like a junior Thor hammer. Um, yeah, well, um, we, we know there are there are there's actually 52 kids on site yeah. this weekend. Yeah. So that would be a hell of a battle royale, and I'd pay money for that. Yeah, yeah, just to (laughs) see them bobber the crap out of each other. (laughs) I mean, I suppose the thing is, you'd have to have an age group there, so it would be fair, because you couldn't have a 13-year-old against a 7-year-old. I mean, funny, but it's just not fair. Um, But, you know, I mean, I I could see you'd have a right crack. I'm I'm thinking there are things, maybe opportunities, I I see that maybe factions have got their own thing that they do, that maybe CP could... Yeah. benefit from and, and 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 I suppose it is about trying to introduce a younger generation to want to stay and do more and yeah. it's that intermediate period between the 9 and 14 15 16 when they can play a more active role that maybe we need to entertain them as mm-hmm. much as we need to well they're the future of marketing kind of so yeah, you've got to grab them so. young otherwise yeah. they'll get bored very quickly yeah yeah and I'll just okay. go, I don't like that because I did nothing when I was younger and so just, yeah they just get older. bored of hearing yeah. the adults talking and drinking down the crimson moon and that's it really, isn't it? So well, maybe that's just us. Crazy. You come out fighting when you start drinking, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> She's doing well though. She's how many days dry now? <laughs> A day. A day. So we're doing well. 24 hours dry. People. One hour. <laughs> uh, well, that's great. Thank you very much for everything. So uh, everybody that's... Uh, Luke, Izzy, Charlie, Bex, you know, the Pitt family, as you know, as we lovingly refer to them. Uh, <laughs> That's our actual name, though, Stu. Uh, you know. If you called us anything else, we won't react. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So, donuts are react. Yeah, yeah, donuts will react. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up again in a bit and uh, speak to you soon. Yeah. So have fun, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.